Before we carry out our insulation resistant test, we have to know what we are looking for. In simple terms, the insulation resistant test will reveal how strong the insulation on our cables in the installation are. And so, in carrying out this test, we want to make sure that the insulation on all our cables are very good and that there is no possibility of leakage between any two cables in the circuit. To do that, we need the insulation resistant tester. So here I have my insulation resistant tester and I have my two leads that will help me to do the test. So before we start, I'm going to set the instruments ready for testing. So as we are ensuring that there is no possibility of leakage between any two cables, we also have to bear in mind that in the circuit we have uh, several cables running. For instance, we have the live wires, the live wires that carry the electricity power all the time. Then we also have the neutral, then we also have our circuit protective conductor. So as much as possible, we want to ensure that between life and neutral, the insulation is so good on the cables that the, there is no way that under any circumstance, current will leak between the life and the neutral. And the same way, we will also check between the life and the air, and then between the neutral and the air to make sure that there is no possibility of leakage between any of these cables in the lifetime of the installation. So what we are going to do first is to test between live and then neutral. Okay, so in this circuit we have the sockets and then we have the lighting system. So we have the power circuit and then we have the lighting circuit. Now, we could, I could have done the test separately between the live cables of the lighting circuit and then the neutral, and then do separately for live cables between the power circuit and the neutral. But in this case, it's going to take us a lot of time to do that. And so, I am going to combine all the live conductors all the outgoing live conductors together to form one. Then I will also, the neutral is already connected. So I'm going to test between all the live conductors. That is both the line supplying the sockets and then the line supplying the lighting system. Test between those cables and then the neutral cables. And if I have a reading on my insulation resistant test that is more than 2 mega ohm or 2 mega ohm and above, then that test result will tell me that the insulation on the cables are very good and that when I supply power to this installation, there wouldn't be any leakage between any two cables. We also have to know now before this test is done, we have to ensure that we put all the lamps out. We remove all the lamps in the circuit and then there is a photo cell also in the circuit. That must also go to ensure that the test result will reveal a true, the true nature of the insulation on the cables. So we will remove the photo cell. I will combine all my outgoing live wires.
Okay. So now I have combined all the live wires in the installation together. Then I also have my neutral already connected to the neutral bar here. Okay. So in doing the insulation resistant things, we have to set the meter. I have I will set the meter to 500 volts. And then that 500 volts will be injected into the circuit. And that is what we are going to use to test the strength of the insulation on the cables. So first I switch on the meter and then I need some light on it. Okay, so it's in 100 volts, but I need 500 volts. So I go up and that is 500 volts. And then whatever we read now is in mega ohm. If my reading, if my result is 2 mega ohm and above, then it means the system is safe, which means that the insulation on the cables are very strong and then I can use the installation safely. After setting the voltage to 500 volts, I will set my time to at least 10, minutes, 10 seconds. So I have my time. Set to 10 seconds. Now, I will use the red lead I will clamp the red lead on the live conductors that are joined together and then the black lead I will clamp it to the neutral bar. Remember we are now carrying out insulation resistance between the live conductors and then the neutral conductors in the circuit. Okay, so I test And then the reading starts. Seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds, ten seconds. Okay, so my ten seconds is up, and then that is the reading I have for my insulation resistance between live and then neutral. So in this case, what it simply means is that the live wires connecting to either the power circuit or the lighting circuit and all the neutral wires in the circuit, there is no leakage between any of these cables in the circuit. So I am good to go. We have a reading of 855 mega ohm. That is a very high resistance. Okay, so now that's done. We are now going to move our test between live and then air. So we still combine all the live outgoing live conductors of the circuit and then we test between the live conductors and then the air conductor or the circuit protective conductors. Okay, so now let's clear this up. So we raise the voltage to 500 volts and I set the time to 10 seconds. Okay, so my red lead is already clamped to the black wires and then now my black lead is clamped onto the F or the circuit protective conductors, what you normally know as A. Then I test between live and A. Okay, so the reading continues between live and circuit protective conductor. Okay, so now the test results I have now is 1.75 giga ohm so it still reveals to me that the resistance between 
the circuit protective conductor, which we normally know as the egg conductor. And then the live conductors is perfectly okay. 1.75 giga ohm. Remember the expected value that will tell us that our insulation is strong enough is 2 mega ohm and above. And here we have 1.5 giga ohm. So it means there is no possibility of leakage between the live conductors and any of the circuit protective conductors, which we normally know as earth conductors. All right, so that's done. We are now going to move our test between the neutral conductors and then the circuit protective conductors to also check if there is any leakage or if there is the possibility of leakage between the line, sorry, the neutral conductors and then the circuit protective conductors. All right. So here I have my red leg clamped onto the F bar onto which the circuit protective conductors are connected. So now my red leg goes to a neutral. Okay, let me go back. So with that done, now I am going to test between the neutral conductors and then the circuit protective conductors, what we normally call the edge conductors. All right, so we clear this off. We raise, I raise the voltage to 500. I set my time to 10 seconds. Okay, so now my black lead already connected to the F bar and I now clamp my red lead onto the neutral bar on which all the neutral conductors are connected and then I test the insulation resistance between the neutral and then the A. Okay, and again, the reading that is showing on my tester is 1.52 giga ohm, which means it is far higher than the normal expected reading of 2 mega ohm. So this also tells me that the insulation resistance between all the neutral wires and all the edge wires in the system are very good. All right. So with this system, per the results I have gotten from all the tests I have done, that is between live and neutral, between live and egg, and between uh, neutral and egg, reveals that there is no problem on any of the insulation in the system. So it means we can now safely supply electricity power to our installation and then use it safely. Thank you very much. You can subscribe to my channel and then share with others to educate them. Thank you.